What's going on guys? Welcome to Everything Always. My name's Michael Roman, AKA Allfires. Now, thanks to a recent exclusive from Murphy's Multiverse, we now know when all of the projects, either delayed from last year or originally set to start filming this year, are going into production for Marvel Studios. All except for one in Avengers 5, which was originally supposed to start filming at the end of this year, but easily is now the movie with the most question marks surrounding it after losing its writer officially in Jeff Loveness, switching over to Michael Waldron and losing the director in Destin Daniel Cretton and of course, the removal of Jonathan Majors as King. Well, today we have an insane update that fills in a lot of those question marks, explains why Jeff Loveness was removed from King Dynasty in the first place, and a clear picture of what he was originally going to try to do with the film and now what Michael Waldron might be trying to change. We're breaking it all down this latest Industry Insider update that even includes details for what's going on with Jonathan Majors recast as King the Conqueror. But first, if you could grab the subscribe button, we do daily Marvel content at the channel and that's all we do. Everything from official Easter egg breakdowns, trailers, and reviews to the occasional industry insider report and everything in between. So if that sort of thing's for you, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment down below that will automatically enter you to win our ongoing PS5 giveaway. The next one's right around the corner. Again, all you gotta do be a sub, leave a comment. If you want, stick around to the end of the video. We get into all the giveaway stuff again there. Okay, so while we normally tell you to take rumors like this with a grain of salt, it's coming from one of the most trusted industry insider sources in Daniel RPK. You can follow him over on Twitter or X at RPK News, and he's been so on the money lately that some of his scoops have been corroborated later in the same day by even the bigger Hollywood trades. This is what he has to say is the latest is what's going on with Avengers 5 King Dynasty. He goes on to report, quote, Marvel didn't fire Jeff Loveness from the King Dynasty because they are moving away from King. King is still very much involved. They fired him because Ant-Man 3 bombed. His original vision was every character that led in a Marvel project during the multiverse saga except for Thor would have been in it more grounded and less multiverse except the concept of Kang variants coming to Earth to fight the Avengers. Now there's actually quite a bit left in this scoop, but I just want to go over this before we go on. Number one, Jeff Loveness getting fired from Kang Dynasty wasn't even something that was confirmed. In fact, we all speculated that maybe he parted ways on his own accord because we had heard a quote from him saying how stressful it was actually to write a movie under these conditions. It was only confirmed in real recently that Michael Waldron would be officially taking over, and that's when we speculated maybe Marvel Studios Studios just wanted one singular voice to write both films. But to hear that they fired Jeff Loveness because Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania bombed. Look, Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania definitely had its faults, but I think a lot of us here at the community agree that it was a pretty okay film and definitely was able to flourish in spite of what those faults were. Then when you hear about the mass rewrites that it underwent, and you can tell this by the obvious editing gaffes that are all over the film, and that's the thing that really bugs me is the editing errors, which we've talked about at length. Those are really symptoms of the Marvel Studios normal movie by committee MO, and I think if anything, the story suffered because of the movie by committee that obviously went on here with too many cooks in the kitchen and studio execs rewriting and micromanaging all these scenes. That's why you end up with dialogue in the third act that tied to dialogue that used to be in the first act that isn't there anymore and sometimes the movie doesn't make sense. That being said, the fact that the story was still intact the way that it was actually speaks to the strength of Jeff Loveness's writing, and so I find it tremendously ironic that they were interested in firing Jeff Loveness because Ant-Man bombed, when really that would have been their own fault. Still, this exact sentiment was already iterated by Variety when they talked about Marvel Studios' knee-jerk reaction to Ant-Man and the Wasp's Quantumania's perceived lack of success at the box office, perhaps even re-evaluating if Kang was the right villain for the multiverse saga, and it seems now according to this report that they decided to stick with Kang but go away from Jeff Loveness. Now his original plan that he calls out during the scoop, Jeff Loveness had already hinted at in some previous interviews about his iteration of the film when he actually dropped a bombshell that he didn't think he was going to be using the Fantastic Four. Obviously fans were a little confused because that's the whole reason to have these crossover films, but still his plan was to have all of the characters that led a phase four or phase five project. So everything from the silver screen like Shang-Chi or say the Disney Plus shows like Moon Knight and She-Hulk bring those characters together as Kang variants descend on Earth and have them fight in a more grounded story. And now it seems like Michael Waldron picking this up is going to tie in more of the multiverse characters like the Fantastic Four, obviously like we saw at the end of the Marvels with the new X-Men universe, Deadpool and Wolverine. And I think that's really more in line with what the fans expect and really starts to make it sound like Avengers 5, regardless of what it's going to be called, is really tied more to Avengers Secret Wars as a part one and two, the way that Infinity War and Endgame were, even though they they didn't share the same name. 
Now he continues by going on to say this, my understanding is that Waldron's vision is somewhat similar but involve the multiverse more. They still want the multiverse heroes to have a bigger role in Secret Wars. So not over tuning it too much to where it's this huge multiverse story, but maybe including some more of the elements like we said, Fantastic Four, some of the X-Men characters. So there can be some backstory there and they're not all meeting for the first time. And when we get to Avengers Secret Wars, because it really doesn't matter how good a job you do in the first two acts or if that's a four hour film, if some of these characters have never crossed paths before during the multiverse or infinity saga, that end game quote unquote sequence in act three is just going to feel far less meaningful because there won't be a backstory or any common ground between some of the most meaningful characters. They've got to establish that. And so I imagine in this change of direction, they're looking to capture more of that in Avengers five to set up the stakes in a more meaningful finale in Avengers secret wars. He then goes on to say that they are still in the early stages with finding a new Kang and that it's going to take a few months. There are names they are interested in, like the one that he had mentioned before. He was the one who dropped the Coleman Domingo scoop about two weeks ago, but there is still time for them to search. And I think that this is insinuating that they're not going to be making it to filming and on Avengers 5 in any time soon. It was slated for the end of this year, but as I had speculated, I'm not sure how they could even finish the script because I'm not sure they even knew at this point how the story was going to end themselves or whether or not Kang was going to be the main villain by the time we get there and of course if you need to brush up on all of that the beyonder dr doom etc there are plenty of videos at the channel covering that but for now don't expect to hear anything about new release dates for avengers 5 and 6 until the summer at san diego comic-con or d23 even then we won't get a production update that's not usually part of the announcement we'll leave it to the industry insiders to fill us in when and if there's any news in the meantime guys what do you want to see out of avengers 5 now that they're changing direction and exactly who do you want to see in the film and as part of the new avengers team I am all ears as always quickly. Let's get into the giveaway stuff before I let you go. All right, we're still giving away PlayStation 5s at the channel, and in fact, we're giving one away with every major Marvel drop this year. So Deadpool and Wolverine, but also Agatha Coven of Chaos, The Witches Road Special, Friendly Neighborhood Spider-Man, X-Men 97, and we suspect maybe even Marvel Zombies. So there are still a ton of PlayStation 5s to be given away this year alongside other giveaways. If you want to be entered to win or for any of the future giveaways, all the same rules will always apply. Hit the subscribe button because you need to be a subscriber, then leave a comment down below. Because it's truly random, the more videos you comment on, the better chance you have of winning. All winners will always be announced live with my voice in the winning comment shown on screen. We just announced two brand new winners for the PS5s for Echo and What If, and again the comment was posted and I announced the winner, so please, please be safe and vigilant on any platform you're on, and if you should ever get a comment saying that you've won a prize, someone pretending to be a content creator, make sure that you report that respective comment to the right platform because they are a lot faster about banning them. And as I've said in the past, not only are you doing the content creator, they're impersonating a huge service because trust me, they're trying to get rid of those comments and YouTube can do it faster, but no one else will be tricked by that account once it is banned. And as I said, we haven't dealt with them here at the channel for quite some time, but they are still on YouTube and they've been hitting some of my friends' channels. That's why I'm bringing this up. The best way to keep up with the content has always been to hit the notification bell with all notifications turned on. And as always, if you like today's video, I'd appreciate it if you'd hit the like button. My name my name's Michael Roman. You can find me in a couple of places, Instagram and Twitter at I'm Fires. You can also find me on Spotify, YouTube, Amazon, Apple, iTunes, wherever you listen to original music under the name All Fires. Now, if your team is still in the race for the NFL playoffs, congratulations. I'm wishing you the best. My bills are playing tonight, and I bring that up only to say if the Deadpool trailer is dropping during the Super Bowl, which we will know confirmed a couple of days leading in, I will do a watch party for Deadpool only if my bills are not playing in the Super Bowl. If they somehow make it to the big game, then all bets are off. I, I can't, I don't even know. I don't even know what to tell you. All right, best of luck to all you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.